And good evening, welcome to ABD Stadium, where Hume City are hosting Heidelberg United in this round 10 match in the PS4 NPL this season. Hume City with the kickoff, going up towards the northern end, and Heidelberg will be kicking with the aid of the breeze this first half. One change in the Heidelberg lineup, Kane Shepherd in for the injured Kenny Athew as Hume City get us underway. Luke Bowles will win that ball, plays it back downfield. Away there by Hume, and it's knocked back in. It's a bit of aerial ping pong at the moment. As Hume come forward, and intercepted there by Luke Bowles. And he looks for Alice now, plays it in behind Harry Noon. And Hume will go all the way back to Chris Oldfield. So Heidelberg coming off a midweek 4-0 win in the FFA Cup match against... Caulfield United Cobras and of course a big 4-1 win last week against Richmond Hume City in 8th place went down to Green Gully last week as Harry Noon picks up the loose ball got Kane Shepard free Shepard now looking for Ellis on the far side, chance to line it up gets around goes in on goal, it's tapped in and there's a, there's a goal and early days in the second minute of play it might have been Kane Shepard that tapped that away. And what a sensational start. As the Burgers take a sensational early lead. Sean Ellis there on the right. Cut his way in behind. And tucked away, looked like, by Kane Shepard in the end. And 1-0 to Heidelberg United. As Hume City rocked by that early goal. So the crowd just settling in, but a shock start there by Heidelberg United. Taking the early lead as Hume was struggling at the minute. And in hard is Ruben Way. It's flicked on. Luke Bowles though in the van. Does well. Shadowed there. We get it back to Petropolis, Petropolis who goes back to. Luke Bowles gets away from Danning, but forced down the line. Now Dumbalas will pick up the loose ball. Chips it over to Ellis. He wins the ball. He's got Ruben Way spread wide, but intercepted there by Hume. And now they'll come forward. But Hegarty with a heavy touch. And Lewis Hall gets in well. And referee Bruno Daniello. Balls play on now as the ball's played quickly. Kane Shepard, though. Looks to go back on his left foot. Looking for the shot! And a nice save there. But made the yard of space did Kane Shepard. And forced Chris Oldfield into a desperate lunge and over for a corner kick. So he's really come back into form, has Kane Shepard, in the last few weeks. Missed a lot of weeks of injury. Has come on in a sub in the last few games. Started on the midweek cup match as it swung in. Hegarty with the header away. And as far as Ruben Way, pace now finds Sean Ellis looking for that deep cross, but just overhit that. Held up there by Wilkins, who does extremely well and eventually clears well to Harry Noon. A good play there by Wilkins. Harry Noon looking for Shepard. He heads the ball on. Can he keep it in? He's chasing after it, but it'll. Beat him out of play. Attacking move for Hume. As Wilkins. It's Franich with a heavy challenge on Harry Noon. As play on, says the referee. And eventually the ball will come off. And it might be a yellow card this time. So. Wilkins. Again with a strong header. And a high ball there by Rezepi. Ruben way up. And Yildiz wins well. Mark Callis. Lewis Hall low. Gets in well. Harry Noon now. Can he get around? He gets around his man. Now chance to cross it in. And 
Well, neither found that Sean Ellis making the run near post. Shepard on the far post, and there's a ball curled around. As we ticked over the 38 minute mark, Luke Bowles wins the header. Eventually, Ruben Way, all the way back to Wilkins. Looks early, ball in behind Harry Noon. The yield is no risk policy there. And Stephen Pace will go all the way back to Theodorides. And as it's played long, and he's onside, is Harry Noon. Can he get a chance in on goal? Crosses it back. And just went in too far behind Harry Noon. And eventually taps and Toglu with a desperate clearance. King downfield has Harris making the run inside. And... Just backing back and forcing Luke Bowles into a foul. Which edge of the box there. Exepi up there. Taps and Toglu also. It's whipped in. Harry Noon with the header. And Dallas with a snot. Oh, what a lovely goal. Well, a snapshot by Harris on 43 minutes. And out of nowhere against the run of play, perhaps. Equalizers for Hume City. And the score is now 1-1 here at ABD Stadium. Somewhat against the run of play, but certainly a well-taken shot there has leveled the game up. Well, Heidelberg on the attack again. As Lewis Hall can't get around. Again, Hume will come forward. Now, Hegarty on the attack now. As the home side will be buoyed by that goal. He's got men in support. And Danning, unmarked in the middle. And Theodorides with a reaction save. And hasn't this game turned around? Well, Hegarty again, the man central to it. Split the Heidelberg defence apart with that through ball. And Danning had shaken clear of Dumbalas with a shot. And Theodorides with a finger tipper as it's headed over by Hume. And combination of Biles and Pace. Um, and the ball will come over. So, in fact, that'll be half time as the ball's played out. So, here at ABD Stadium, here, the score at half time Heidelberg United with the early goal equalising in the 43rd minute. Hume City leaves us at half time here. Hume City 1, Heidelberg United 1. We'll be back after this break with all the second half action here at ABD Stadium. We're back here at the ABD Stadium for second half action with Heidelberg to kick us off as the score is 1-1. And Josh Wilkins looking to play the ball forward on as far as Rex Zeppi. He's able to bounce Harry Noon to Ruben Way who flicks it out looking for Alice. Alice now with the early pass to Noon. Can he get the cross in? Shepard just past that man. And he's down as Her uh, Ruben Way picks it up to Dumbalas. He gets the early cross in. Over the head. And they're appealing for handball. And that might have come off as Josh Wilkins eventually finds Theodoridis as the ball was whipped in. Harry Noon tried to get the shot on. And it might have come off the arm, but the referee... An assistant, wave play on, is now Wilkins, in for Shepard, holds the ball up well, it's brought down, play on says the referee, Wilkins scores free to him, looking for the header from Ruben Way, 
he wasn't far away. Tight contest here as Walker for Hume. Got Hegarty making the run, goes to Harris. He'll come to Hegarty now. Ahead of Luke Bowles. That's him well. Tries a shot and it's forced in. And Harris was the man getting in. But Hegarty once again, the man causing the problems as we... As he turned, Luke Bowles inside out. And eventually found Kim Harris, who bundled it past the Arides. And Hume on the one hour mark, take a 2-1 lead. What can they dig one out of this one? As Petrie launches it forward, only as far as Walker. Back to Oldfield. So Walker, Harris finding the net that time. As the ball is played forward by Bowles. It's flicked on only as far as Petrie. He's got Harry Noon. Kanakaris lets it run. Josh Wilkins now making the run forward. And look at the pace on the man. Doing really well. He's got the early ball there, Shepard. Tries a shot. And just wide. And might have been put off there, but what a superb run there by Josh Wilkins setting up that opportunity. And in the end, Kane Shepard unable to take advantage. So into the last quarter of an hour here. There's Jack Petrie. Can't win that. Can bowl us down well. Harry Noon. And again against Clark. So Harry Noon leaves that for the skipper. Worrying times here for Heidelberg. Can they find the equalisers? Harry Noon picks up the short ball. Nice run in the channel by... Oh, looking for Shepard. And he puts it away! And a lovely move there! And Kane Shepard on 76 minutes equalises. Well, the short ball played to Harry Noon. He found Ribbon Way and the early cross found... Kane Shepard, and this time round, the Heidelberg United striker makes it 2-2 from close range. And it's game on here at ABD Stadium. Oh, never underestimate this Heidelberg United side. I mentioned earlier that they do have the character and the ability to create openings. Shepard. Gets it back, goes to Gumbalas, flicks it forward, looking for Petrie. The early chip cross. Move away now, down to Ellis. Can he get around? In behind. Kenakaris, the charge shot. And brilliant defending there by Tavson Zoglu. As Ellis almost creating the winner there for Heidelberg. And now Cole, Jeremy Walker on the attack. Got runners in the middle. Goes out wide to Espindola. And now Hegarty again for Hume. And he's brought down by Shepard. Look to whip this ball in with the left foot. Does so. A mark. And what a lovely save. In fact, off the bar. Well, there was two men on mark there. And eventually, Greg Zeppi with the header. And over the bar. So an escape for Heidelberg. And will Hume live to regret that one? And they had two men there and unable to bundle that home. As it's headed forward by Hume again. Only as far as Mark Ellis. Gumbalas with the early clearance. Shepard helps it on. Ruben Way gets there ahead of... And 
brought down by Tafson Sogmu. There's Ellis. Plays a short ball to Wilkins. Early cross. Over the head of everyone looking for Ruben Way now. He's going to have to track back. Goes all the way to Ellis, but that's short. Ruben Way again in. The goal kick in the end off Ruben Way. And Clark. Early ball to walk to Harris. Noon. Off Franjic there who gets in ahead of Harry Noon. Down to Mark Ellis. He's got Hegarty again. He's free. Got Espindola on the far post. And there's a hitter by Clark. And unmarked to head men over. And once again, Hegarty creating all the damage. And Clark, the substitute, puts Hume City 3 2 ahead. And Hume City on 87 minutes. Take the lead 3 2 here. In this last few minutes. Shepard on the kickoff. Ruben Way. Nice defending there by Yildiz. As over Shepard's head. And eventually Chabani clears. Only as far as Harry Noon. Looking for the one two, but the And there's the final whistle. And Hume City. At ABD Stadium, run out winners here, 3-2. So, loss for the first time since the opening day of the season for Heidelberg United. So the final score here at Hume, Hume City 3, Heidelberg 2. Stay tuned after the break as we bring you all the news from the rooms. After the game, I've got Jeff Oliver. Jeff, a disappointing loss after a great run of 10 games unbeaten. Yeah, very disappointed. Uh, I thought we deserved to get something out of the game, but uh, sometimes, as we know, the game can be cruel and we got punished, unfortunately. And what do you put it down to? Was it was, was a weak midweek cup match any factor in the game, or did you think uh, just a few defensive lapses there? Oh, I think it was a combination of both. I mean, it's been a, it's been a couple of big weeks with us, with obviously playing at Bulleen on the extra turf and then the midweek game. and. Obviously Richmond last week, and obviously tonight. I mean, and also you know, humour up for it as well, because obviously if you know they don't beat us or get a result tonight, we sort of kick away. So I think it's a combination of all those things. And uh, the first half we started off with a bang. I mean, goal in the first two minutes of play and really dominating. Um, was was that probably a factor that we didn't grab a second one there? Yeah, we spoke about it uh, on the bench that you know the second one was crucial. Obviously it's a bit breezy here, so we thought if we could get the second one, it'd give us a chance. But Saying that you know they scored, uh, you know we were a little bit disappointed with the goal, but you know we had a, a number of chances. I thought I'd like to see it on the replay. I thought we sort of had a, a cry for a penalty, maybe a handball. Uh, unfortunately, we don't seem to be getting the rub of the green on those at the moment, and that might have uh, might have changed the game slightly. And then they went up and scored. So yeah. Now after we grabbed that second equaliser there in in the last 15 minutes, I noticed the boys were really pushing on. Did that leave us a little bit vulnerable at the back, perhaps? No, we, we tried to be a bit cautious as well. We tried to get Stevie and Luke and, and so on, but to be fair, Haggerty's played a, a fantastic ball in. Um, I'd have to see it on the really, uh, the replay, but uh, I think probably our marking could have been slightly better, And but to be fair, it was a decent ball in, and unfortunately, uh, the boy got an end of it, the substitute Clark, I think, and uh, put it away. Now, what's the plan for this week? Because another huge game against uh, the second-place team, Bentley, next Sunday on Mother's Day, so that should be... A real big clash, a chance to get back one. Yeah, we've got to, uh, the key for us is now to recover. Uh, obviously, we've got a few days off. Um, so the boys will have a couple of days away, obviously, uh, with the Greek Easter and so on. And then uh, the boys will be back in on Tuesday. It'll be a light sort of early in the first part of the week. And then uh, we'll get ready for Bentley. And hopefully we can have a great Mother's Day and also get a result as well. Jeff, uh, commiserations on uh, the loss tonight. But uh, let's hope the boys are up for it next week. Thanks very much, John. Cheers. Thank you.